Hello, uh, Mr. Gaza here, 214. <clears throat> Excuse me, here we go. Uh, History of the world, you need the centerfold of the reference table. Definitely need this right here. Uh, so here we go. Matching columns, these are all um, geologic periods. You'll find them right here. And let's go, Mr. Gaza was born. So um, you always want something very recently. Recent, so this is the whole, this is all the eons. You're in a period here, so you want something like the Holocene or Pleistocene or Quaternary. I think these are all periods, so the most recent is going to be the Quaternary D. Okay. Uh, earliest flowering plants, where are you going to find those? You got to look here. Um, uh, you got to look here and you got to find it. So I'll show you the earliest flowering plants are right here. Okay. What period is that? Cretaceous period. Cretaceous period. So that is choice number letter J. That's J. Um, this fossil here, Tetragraptus. So you got to find that. Okay, you got to find that. So you got to look down here. Okay, look all along here. And what you're going to find is this. That's J. That's it right there. Can you see that? Yeah, that's it right there. Um, and you gotta find J, so that's right here, okay, and then you follow that over, it's right like at the, in the Ordovician, okay, Ordovician period, which is, uh, letter A, or maybe, no, I guess I, I said you could take B too, but it's really, Ordovician is really the best answer, Cambrian, not so much, Ordovician, that is A, first trilobites on earth so first trilobites so these you're gonna see trilobites are here you see the first ones right here um, that's in the Cambrian you you're gonna see this one too uh, earliest trilobites right here Cambrian that should be Cambrian that is choice what choice is that Cambrian is uh, B so four should be B uplift of the Adirondack area so that's Adirondacks New York and look in the important geological events in New York and you have the um, this here dome-like uplift of Adirondack region begins. If you follow that across, that's that's the Cretaceous. So we're going to use that again. Uh, a key, a letter may be used more than once, and some of them are. J. Eurypterids went extinct at the end of this period. Where are Eurypterids? Eurypterids are um, on here. This is where you want to find them. Eurypterids are right here. You see the name right there. They went extinct at the. What did I say? At the end of, at the end of this period, or towards the end of this period here. Uh, they change this a little bit, so it's towards the end. It's the Permian. Permian. E, so not really at the end. I know the reference table changed a little bit. And how they did that uh, <clears throat> timeline there. Birds first appear on Earth. The first birds are uh, here. Earliest birds in the Jurassic. Okay, so that's where you find earliest birds. Jurassic, that is F. And then uh, this fossil here. Pleurodictium. You gotta look down here. Okay, this is where you see the names. You really got to kind of look along here. All right, and you're gonna find it there. That's V. So that's what it looks like as letter V. And that is right here. And if you follow that along here, that's Devonian. So that is what choice C. That's choice C. Okay. So let's go down here. Here we see a diagram, cross section of uh, bedrock here and it shows these are sedimentary rocks this is uh, folded limestone this is granite and this is basalt please note these lines here remember what these are okay that represents contact metamorphism that uh, this what is this two came through uh, afterwards melted all the rock that it touched because it was really hot it was lava or magma at the time all right, so here we go. Use the diagram above. To, uh, an unconformity is a buried erosional surface. Label the unconformity in the diagram above. The unconformity is this right here. If I could get this. What am I going to do? I'm going to do it. Unconformity is this right here. Buried erosional surface. It's where, so these layers here don't conform with these. So this is it right here. This is an unconformity. It means a lot of, there was a lot more rock here. It was uplifted. To where it was not under the ocean anymore. It was eroded. Okay. So draw an arrow there or something and somehow label it unconformity. Doesn't conform to the layers above. Which is oldest, the basalt intrusion 
the sandstone or the shale. Okay, so the shale is here, sandstone is here, basalt intrusion. So what happened is that uh, this was deposited in the series of these three. This was deposited first, sandstone on top, then this came later. How can I tell? Because this contact metamorphosed it right here. It had a, this had, these had to be here for this to melt it. So the oldest here is shale. Okay, draw a small dot at a location where there might be metamorphic rock labeled at M. Okay, contact metamorphism. Your dot should be anywhere in this general area. Let me label it. Let me draw it in. Anywhere here, you should draw, have drawn a dot. Somewhere in here or in here where those little, like, uh, hairy lines touch. Anywhere in there, your dot, and label it M. So maybe you'd go like this. Label it M. Must label it M. <coughs> Twelve, put these in order of youngest, uh, oldest to youngest. Okay, so uh, the oldest is four down here. Uh, then three, then one, then two, because two cuts across them all, melts them all. So that's the order. Four, three, one, two. Which is most likely deposited in slower moving water? One or four? One or four? I'm sorry, one or three? One or three, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Sandstone or shale? Shale is smaller sediments, sandstone is the larger sediments. Slower moving water must be three, which is shale, because uh, sediment's uh, smaller and it's easier to get carried along. It has the water has to be really s almost basically still for it to settle out. Which of these lived on Earth for the longest period of time? Graptolites, crinodes, dinosaurs, trilobites. You need the reference table for this, and you want to look at all of them. They are, <coughs> excuse me, um... Let me see, graptolites, you're going to see, graptolites live from here to here, this time frame. And then the next one is crinoids live from um, here to here. And still, so that, that's a long period of time. Next up, dinosaurs are here, shorter time, uh, trilobites here to here. Crinoids are definitely the longest time period. They've lived, you know, 480 million years, still exist today. Crinoids are your answer for that one. Uh, look at the species along the bottom of the ESRT page 89. Find the name of the species that is assigned the first letter of your last name. Write it here. Be sure to spell it correctly. So, for instance, my last name is Gazda. I would go with this one. Labeled G. I would write this down right here for me because my last name starts with... Okay, let me, I want to check and make sure I spelled it right because these are very hard to spell. Okay. Cool. And do, do that for your last name. Don't do it for my last name. Uh, name the geologic period. Let me see here. Name the geologic period during which the evaporation of inland ocean that covered New York State led to the formation of beds of rock salt. Hint. Oh, look, I give a hint. I'm so nice. Jeez. Important geologic events in New York column. Okay, so what you want to do is go here, important geological events in New York, I'm looking for salt and gypsum deposited in evaporite basins, and it means in New York, so what period is that? Silurian. Silurian. <clears throat> okay, 17, over the past 460 million years, how has North America moved? Hint, inferred position of Earth's land masses column, so this kind of shows these pictures here, for, so this is kind of it, this is around 460, this is North America, kind of showing from here to here to here to here to here. How, how has it moved? What direction has the actual continent moved on the globe? Um, and it has choices here. Best answer is kind of basically northward choice three. 18, orogeny. Orogeny means mountain building, like when two continents collide at a convergent plate boundary and they have this slow motion car crash and they buckle upward. That's an example of orogeny. Therefore, the Taconic orogeny is the formation of the Taconic Mountains, which are nearby to where we are. In what period did the Taconic Mountains form? Okay, so what you want to do is look here, important events in New York State. Okay, and it says right here, look, Taconic orogeny caused by closing of western part of the Iapetus Ocean, and so it's right here, Taconic, and it's in what period? Ordovician period. Ordovician. 
And here we go. It's Phil's friend, uh, Phil and Fiona love to find fossils in a bed of siltstone just south of Syracuse. They find fossils of three species shown below. Use it, using this fossil assemblage, which is a group of fossils, name the geologic period in which the rock formed. That one, that one, that one, that one. So you really got to look. And you got to. So this is where it gets a little tricky. You got to find these down here. So, so this is the first one. It has the name there. The second one is uh, this one. So I'm looking for, and I'll write it on my paper maybe. I'm looking for fossil uh, U and P and the Eurypterus, the official uh, fossil of New York State, by the way, and M. That, that's, that's Eurypterus, M. So I want to find um, when did these all exist on Earth at the same time, and that gives you an age for that, for that layer of siltstone, which is how we do it, really. So wh where can we find a time where U, P, and M, y if you look right here, look, U, P, M, they all lived at the same time in the same period, the Silurian period, okay? And that's how we date rocks, really. We know something about fossils when they lived. What is the time they all existed on Earth at the same time so they could be fossilized? That is key to uh, geologic history and a huge chunk of uh, geology. How much time? I'm at 11 minutes. Uh, what is the most recent uh, epoch? Early Permian or late Permian? Okay, so this is how it works. So Permian, what's most recent? Early middle, late, okay? So this is today, the most recent is late Permian. That's kind of how that works. Late Permian. Okay, 21, answer this on your own. It's asking you to do it. Do not just write the ages of each. Don't just write numbers down. Use some words to compare it. Um, 22, why do you think Jurassic Park? You, you write that down as well. Okay, I'm not going to give you the answer to that. And 20... Uh, three, Craig found a bed of siltstone that contains three fossil species below, and which species shown was definitely not in Craig's rock. So three of these uh, were in there. One wasn't. So you got to see when did they all uh, live at the same time. Okay, that's basically it. Which lived at the same time? you got to look along here, and you will find that if you look through these, we have um, this is B, okay, and then this is S. So this gets a little tricky. This is T, and this is W. So B S T W. So now you want to look here. B T S W. So B T and W all lived at the same time. S only came about much later. You know, 400 million years later. So. You will not find fossils of, what's that, condor um, with the other ones because it was, did not exist at the same time period. So it's going to be choice uh, two there. Okay, so hopefully that helped. The, import, the center of the reference table is uh, very important. There's a lot to it. This is the history of Earth. So I hope this helped. Go back and watch it if you need to. I'm Mr. Gazda, Gazdonian Productions. Thank you.